Hi, Die Hogs. Maddie G back with you. Had a couple days off with videos just because I wasn't feeling too good, but uh, thought I'd be proper to come back tonight with two Celtics videos because they're playing the Hornets at home. But obviously, it's a stretch run. Toronto doesn't seem like they're losing, and Cleveland seems like they got their foot all the way pinned to the floor on the gas pedal. So it's not just going to keep the pace, keep winning. They go on the road, I think, to Houston Saturday night, so that should be interesting. But for now, they're in the mix. Keep playing good ball, better shot selection, less threes. And, you know, you see where you go from there. Give you a couple of notes on the Hornets. Kemba Walker's their leading scorer. Dwight Howard's a double-double guy, who at his age is pretty impressive. He's averaging 15.8 points per game, 12.6 rebounds per game. That's real impressive with Dwight Howard, who was a guy that I thought the Celtics should really look at um, before the season started. Jeremy Lamb's their third leading scorer with 13.4 points per game. And they got kind of role players like Nicholas Batum at 11.9, Cody Zeller 5.4 rebounds per game, and Marvin Williams 9.6, 4.7, and 1.1 across the board. The Celtics should be able to beat this team. Now, the height advantage is going to be an issue. Frank Kaminsky, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, um, Dwight Howard, like guys that you know have some size advantage and play, play heavy, so the Celtics are going to have to bang a little bit tonight. Hopefully they don't get abused on the glass like they usually do when they play teams like this. But should be a win at home. Got to control home court, and you got to make yourself known. Quickly on the Celtics, Kyrie Irving's the leading scorer, 24.7. He's averaging 7.6 rebounds and two. Um, excuse me. He's averaging 7.6 assists per game and 2.5 rebounds and five point. I, I apologize, guys. He's averaging 6.2 assists per game and 5.1 5.1 assists per game, 6.2 rebounds per game. Sorry, correction there. Jalen Brown's the second leading scorer, 14.1, 5.3 rebounds. Al Horford, not a double-double, but close, 12.9, 7.6 rebounds. Marcus Morris, 12.1, 4.6 rebounds. And my man Terry Rozier, 10.3, 4.5 um, rebounds per game. Tatum, 13.4 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per game. That's pretty good for a rookie, especially this late in the year. And Marcus Smart, 10.1 points per game, 4.7 assists per game. So the Celtics are deeper, they got to shoot well, good shot selection, and should be able to have a nice, nice win at home tonight. Enjoy the game, check in with me after the game, give you some notes and analysis on the game. Go Celtics. Talk to you tonight. Enjoy the ball.